how to convert a DVD to AVI at 700 megabytes by jbob.org. First thing we're going to want you to do is go to our website. When you go to our website, go to um, how to convert a DVD to AVI. We had two of them. The old one's at the bottom. The second, the first one I mean is the new one. This is the one we're going to need you to go to. We can't go to it right now due to the fact that we don't even have it up and running yet. So it'll be done after this video. Anyways, this is what it's called, Fair Use Wizard. So we're going to close this. When you see it and download it, download it to your desktop. And we're just going to go ahead and install it. So we already had it on our desktop. Um, now we might pause this video a few times because it does take some time. So we're going to create a desktop item. While that's doing that, let's create a folder of the movie. So call it whatever you want. We're going to call it JBob just for tutorial reasons. Okay, so it's installing all the software. And we are done. We're going to launch it. Finish. Okay, here it goes. This is it. Now, this is where we're going to ask you to put your DVD into your DVD drive. Okay, if you don't have a DVD drive, you won't be able to convert movies, so you need a DVD drive. We're going to call the movie JBob. We're going to want to put this movie into our JBob folder that we created on our desktop. Okay, now we're going to do uh, the conversion process here shortly. So we're going to get back to these parts right here. But anyways, just the same, we're going to click on Next. This is where we're going to select for your DVD. So you already selected it. We're probably going to get an error. Nope. Okay, perfect. We're kicked off. So this is the port right here, the whole movie. It's one hour and 58 minutes. we got the French, English, French, whatever. So we're just going to select that because obviously that's the biggest file. Anything that's big, that's usually your movie. So we're going to go ahead and hit Next. Now this is, might take some time because it's building all the program chain index. So we're just going to pause it and we'll be right back. Sorry for that. It took a couple minutes there. It takes about 10-15 uh, minutes depending on one's operating system. This is where you're going to want to crop your pictures. It's up to you. We usually don't crop them. We leave them the way they are. So we're going to hit next. and. Uh, this is where you would select it. Most likely it's going to be the IVCT mode. So we're just going to do the auto detect. It's going to tell you, so it's going to select it. Hit next. Now, this is where you want to pick your output size. Right? So we're going to keep our output size at 700 megabytes. Then you're going to want to hit next again. Now, this is going to take some time again, so we're going to pause the video. Uh, again, depending on one's operating system, this can take anywhere from an hour, two to three hours. So uh, we're just going to let it kick off. Right now it says 40 minutes, but it's going to do this about three to four or five different times. So we're just going to pause the video and be right back. And we're back. Okay, now it's completed converting your DVD to AVI. So just click on Finish. Now in the folder that we put the, uh, the AVI file, we're going to double click on it. And here's your AVI file. So we're just going to move that out of the desktop, I mean uh, out of the folder. Now in the folder I'm going to get rid of everything else that's in the folder. We don't need that. So put it back in. So uh, I'm going to double click on it. And uh, there you go. Just uh, so that's how you convert uh, a DVD to AVI. Now, before we conclude this tutorial, I'm going to reopen this up. I wanted to get back to this. Now, when you write your name, you for the the file, say for example, you want to do seasons of uh, a DVD. You type in the name of the season. We're going to call it uh, J Bob again and all you have to do is click on season so when you do this and you convert it all those AVI files in that I mean in the DVD all those seasons will be placed in that folder um, in order like it'll be JBob season 1 episode 1 JBob season 1 episode 2 and so forth so that's what uh, for the seasons are so 
that's something nice to know as well so and it, as well when you go into your options I forgot to mention this before so it's probably a good thing to remember uh, before you convert a torrent uh, you get a subtitles track um, you should really select none the, I should have done that because when you convert it the subtitles will be hard coded into the AVI file so select none before you convert your your um, DVD to AVI and that's pretty much it so that's how you convert a DVD to AVI I hope you enjoyed it if you thought this uh, tutorial was very useful please come to our website at www.jbob.org and please uh, make a donation alright have yourself a great day